today's video, we're opening the most anticipated Yu-Gi-Oh set of all time, Rarity Collection. What is up guys, we are back and we finally have the 25th anniversary's Crown Jewel Rarity Collection on hand. So we are starting one of a few videos we're gonna be doing over the next few days and then a massive live stream. In today's video, we're just opening two boxes and I will be giving away every pull that we get. It could be the Ash Blossom, one of seven versions. Could be the Pot of Prosperity, one of seven versions. Who knows? Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite part about this set. Do you love it? Is there anything you don't like about it? Let's get into it. If you guys want to buy some of this yourself, Sassy Auto has some on sale. Use my code down below to get 5% off your order. You want to do it over the next like seven to 10 days because that's how long the code lasts. And let's get to opening. All right, so before we hop into it, this is like, I think it's an 80 or 79 card set. Does it say on here somewhere? Let me see if I can find it. I don't see where it says, but I know it was like 80 or 79 and there are seven versions of each card in the set. So no matter what card it is, there's seven versions. They come in seven different rarities. They're super rare. Ultra rare, let me read it. It's gonna say somewhere, right? Okay, on the OCG ones, it has them listed. Why does it not have them listed on these boxes? It doesn't have the rarities listed. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird they're not listed on the box. I don't know, let's just get into it. So there's all those different versions of every card. It's mostly like meta stuff. So it's gonna be like pretty cool for like actually blinging out decks. You have a lot of different options for what you want. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens with these cards. So like Pot of Prosperity now has seven new prints. Not just one reprint, seven. So I feel like the older versions are gonna get crushed and that's kind of like the one negative I have for this set because the rest of it's ex extremely fun. Like it's super, super cool. It's gonna be super fun to open. And uh, I think it's actually pretty easy to pull high rarity cards, which is gonna make it really exciting to open. Okay, enough chitter chatter, enough chatting it up. Let's get to this rarity collection opening. Uh, I think you also, the really cool thing about this, you can pull three high rarity cards in one pack. So there's high potential for craziness. So I don't know what any pack trick is. I'm just gonna go straight through it on the first opening. Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode, we will be opening today. Tomorrow we're gonna have another opening. The next day I actually have a two case opening for my local store. And then our final opening will be on Saturday where I attempt to pull every version of every card live. So I wanna see you guys there. Here we go, that's a super. This could be any of the rarities, pretty cool. Chain of Heart, okay, we've started off, that is, this, oh, it's regular Secret Rare, I guess is the other one. So, regular Secret, apparently the Platinums are kind of hard to tell from Secrets, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Okay, oh, and there we go right off the bat. This is, I think this is an ulti, one of the new style ultis. They look kind of similar to Collector Rares. They're pretty beautiful, Junk Speeder. We have a Change of Hearts, this is what I'm talking about. Wait, no, this is definitely an ulti. This must be a, wait, what is this? Are these both ultis? Wait a sec. You could tell because like the texture here and like how shiny it is on the uh, on the wings and stuff. This is an ultimate rare change of heart. We got two change of heart in the same pack. Then we have a junk speeder. I did not watch anyone else's video. These are both ultis. Two ultis in one pack. I guess you can do that. We are one pack in. We have two ultimate rares. So uh, I, let me know if you like the new ulti. I personally love it. I think it looks really cool. Um, it's not the same as the old. Obviously, the old is still really awesome and iconic, but I do like this new version as well. We have Mass Hero Dark Law. There's a lot of cool cards in here. Okay, there's a Platinum Secret Rare. So you could tell by these borders on the edges here and then the border down there, they're like kind of Secret Rare pattern. Kind of awesome, actually. I, I do like this. It's like a it's like a more amped up Secret Rare. It's called a Platinum Secret, I believe. Pot of Prosperity, our first one. Ultra Rare, Sean. They're not short printed, it seems, already. We actually don't know that, but I'm guessing nothing short printed. Cyber Angel, Benton Ultimate Rare. Okay, so we just, it's high rarity cards galore. This is insane. Oh my God. All right, it's gonna be a long video uh, if I don't, you know, get through it because, wow, it's just every pack has insane cards. Okay, Artifact Lancia, Secret Rare, Egyptian God Slime went from one printing to eight with this one opening. Okay, we got an Ultra there. We got another Ultra, Inspector Border, goes well in Haunted Mansion. So that's a pretty tame pack right there. That's one we're just gonna, gonna keep going through. Keep in mind, every card you see has seven prints. It can be in any of them, so keep that in mind. Oh! our first 25th anniversary. There we go. Lancey had three straight printings in the last two packs. Rhoda, Reinforcement of the Army, and a Change of Heart. We have gotten like four of the prints of Change of Heart. That's what's gonna be super fun on Saturday. We're trying to complete the whole set. We're gonna have binders out. I'm gonna be pulling cards, putting them in the binders. We'll probably like do it every few packs. We'll go back to the binders, add some cards. I'm pumped. That's gonna be super fun because you could tell it's actually 
pretty easy to get a lot of the cards, but getting all the cards in every version, 500 plus versions, is gonna be tough. Wow, this is gonna be a real, this is gonna be a hit for sure. People are gonna wanna open this because like you could tell, you could just go crazy, Pot of Prosperity Secret, why not? Iris Sorcel, eh, pretty iffy. We have Pot of Extravagance in here as well. The only thing I'm concerned about is if they wanted to do this again at some point, if they keep reprinting these cards this much, so if they pick 80 new cards every year, and do seven prints, eventually nothing is gonna be worth anything because there's gonna be so many prints. So I'm a little worried about that. There's a Platinum Dark Law, Pot of Desires, because there does need to be some value in the cards like for the opening, opening wise. Um, but I, I feel like Rarity Collection every year will have value. It's the other sets that they're reprinting that I'm worried about. They did all older cards, it might be okay. Uh, I'm not totally sure. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Triple Tactics Talents is in here. We have an Infinite Impermanence. Celine, that's a good reprint. I haven't seen that in a while. And then it, actually, I think Celine was in Battles of Legend or something. So that like now Battles of Legend, like it's already crushed anyway, but you're not going to go for that version when you go for this, you know, Baron de Floor, Nice. Baron's in here. We got the secret tour guide, unicorn and a small world ultra or ultimate rare. Sorry. That's beautiful. Look at that thing. I love the texture on this thing. Or like the texture look. It's not, oh, this is collector rare actually. I was wondering why there were dots. This is a collector rare. It's our first one. You can tell because the little triangles on the border, but it kind of has the same look as the ultimate rare. Not that different actually. So is this a new collector rare? Because normally collector rares don't have the shimmer in here. Okay. Those are kind of hard to tell apart. Okay, and speaking of my, my locals, I, I just picked up a couple boxes and he was like, hey, you want to open some packs for us? I was like, sure, why not? There's a small world secret rare. He's like, there's one thing I want you to, to mention when you do this opening, which is not their opening yet, but I figured I'd mention it already is. He was like, yeah, they really need to do like a set code for these rarities because there's so many of them. I think Magic the Gathering does this. And as I just said, the, there's a couple of rarities that are pretty similar, like the Secret and the Platinum Secret, Ulti, Collector Rare. Pretty hard to tell. If you're like a seasoned Yu-Gi-Oh guy, you can probably tell, but I get questions all the time about how to tell like Ultra and Ulti apart, you know? A lot of times those look way different and people can't tell. And if there's a set code, it kind of fixes that problem. Plus when you're going through and like, if you're a store, especially you're sorting through a lot of cards, you can just look at the set code and not have to like get in the light and you know, and try to really figure out the rarity. There's an Egyptian God Slime. So I think that was a pretty good suggestion for Konami. I don't know if they're gonna watch this video. I mean, they definitely don't sponsor me, but maybe they watch some of the content. If they do, then maybe they could consider that option because it would make it a little easier, especially on sets like this with seven rarities, you know? It gets a little, a little muddy about which one you have. I know a lot of people, even seasoned Yu-Gi-Oh people that are into it, they're like, I'm not really sure what I just pulled. Like, is this a Starlight? Is it a 25th? You know, I know it says it on there, but it seems obvious if you know, but a lot of people don't. All right, this is going to be longer than our normal uh, our initial openings because I'm just taking time to look at all the rarities. This is so cool. Secret, uh, Dogmatica, Ecclesia. That's going to be fun to have a 25th and stuff like that. Really, 25th, honestly, you know, I might have to rank my favorite rarities from this set that could be that could be a fun video actually or i could just do it now or maybe i'll mm, i don't know when will i do that maybe i'll do it tomorrow oh dark law 25th there you go hero players that's that's pretty sick okay magic class fusion i wonder what that will do to the ultimate rare that that could be a good test for like what it's going to do to the old cards seven new rarities of dark law what does that do to the price of the ulti We'll see. Magic Glass Fusion, we have Schism, we have Lightning Storm. Because we have seen a lot of the time when there's a lot of new prints, like the older rarities uh, go down quite a bit, which is can be a good thing, you know? Uh, if they're like not too expensive, Dogmatic of Punishment. It kind of sucks though when you own them and you're getting destroyed. You know, you're, you spent like $400 on a Dark Law or whatever they are now, another like 100. It's great for everybody who wants ulti Dark Law. It's not so good if you're holding them in your deck and you want it to retain value and stuff. So Ash Blossom, first time seeing one of those. Dark Ruler no more. We have Downer and Magician. So let's try to figure this out. This looks like an ulti to me because it's it's all shiny on the side. No triangles. That's, I think I'm right about that. Nadir Servant and a Dingir Suz in here as well. If we can pull the Ash Blossom 25th, be pretty cool. Be pretty cool. All right, Striker, because you guys get all these cards, by the way. So don't forget that. Red Eyes Flare Metal. We got a Samoon. The Poison Wind is in here. That's random. Nibiru, that's cool. Eldritch is in here. Wow, this, there's so many good cards. So like the first year of this, there's so many good cards to put in, but like next year, it's like there's a lot less because you put a lot of them in here. Effect Veiler, there's the Starlight reprint. We have Downer and Magician. Nightmare Unicorn, wow, check that out. That looks like a Collector Rare and a Preparation of Rights. Of course, people are mowing outside. Naturally, they wanted to hear about Rarity Collection as well. 
Hopefully you guys can't hear that, but if you can, I apologize. Galaxy Eyes, ooh, another 25th. This is probably the worst one. Full Armor Photon Dragon, the original print of this card's like 40 cents. Every time I pull it, I'm like, this is a money card. And then I look it up, I'm like, never mind. There are so many rarities. This is insane. This is gonna be the most fun new set I've ever opened. So, you know, I I have said a couple negatives. There we go, Predapant, Dragostapelia. Pretty sure this card waxed me in a YCS one time. I think that was the one that Hoban was playing against me. Small World, a, there's a Predaplant again and a Herald of the Arc Light. But yeah, I, I will I will bring up the negatives, which I think is the potential overprinting of, of certain cards. I think that's the negative of this set, but keep in mind that that is the only negative I have. I really like the set, Call by the Grave. We have Visionary Ferris, that's a good one. I really like that these have a lot of options now. I think it's really cool. I think it's gonna be super fun to open. So just know it's like 95 to five on my happiness scale right now with this thing. And uh, cause a lot of time people will watch my videos. I do, I, okay, there's, is that an ulti? No, it's a collector rare, okay. It initially looks like an ulti. I think the dots too, you can kind of see there are dots sprinkled around here. That's only in the collector rare. I wonder if that's the new collector rare, if that's only for rarity collection, because I actually like this a lot more than regular collector rare. You can actually see it right off the bat, Celine. Okay, the mowing has calmed down a little bit. It's a little loud, so if you hear it, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but I will try to continue the opening. It's so loud. All right, we're going to pull. They want to see us pull the Ash Blossom. Danger Jackalope, cool. Called by the Grave. That's a good one. Ultra evenly matched. Another good one. And Fairy Tale Luna. Here is the, look at this pile. Just look at this. That's the pile of, of nice cards. Okay. People are going to be like, why are you sleeving them? You're actually okay to not sleeve them right away. I usually do it after the video because as long as you're you know, pretty careful with them, you're not going to like damage them or anything. Called by the Grave, Secret. We have Egyptian God Slime. We have Harpy's Feather Storm. Oh, now you can, now you can uh, feather storm people in seven rarities. I'm sure people are gonna love that. Okay, still a lot of packs left. This is uh, kind of a long video. Uh, the mowing. Oh my goodness, Breda Plant. That's a not a platinum. We have a Red Eyes Flare Metal, Baron de Floor, and a Celine, Queen of the Master Magicians. Oh, I'm just trying to make it through this. This is super loud, but I'm hoping that the Sure is doing its job, and you guys can't really hear it. We have a Herald of the Arc Light Ultra, Nightmare Unicorn. I resort so we definitely slow down on the big rarities here 25th we pulled a couple of them. i think four alpha we have elder Inst the intis nice for my dogmatica invoke dogmatica dark magician deck beautiful summon limit we have a win magician salvation okay we still got a lot of packs left we still got potential for that ash blossom that's the big card of the set Oh, an Eldritch. Let's go. The thing is, I'm wondering how these are going to do, like in general, as singles, because there are so many options for every card. What are the big cards going to be out of here? I mean, obviously, the 25th are probably the big ones, but I don't know, like, what kind of value they're going to hold up with. It's going to be interesting to come back and revisit the set's values in a few months. Maybe we'll even make that its own video just to kind of go see what happened. Black Wing Simoon, that's a collector rare. You can tell by the dots. I'm figuring it out. Compulse. And Dingirsu. It's gonna be really interesting. See, Eldritch is pretty nice. That's a pretty big one. We have Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax, Striker Dragon. We got Danger Jackalope. I gotta speed up a little bit. Ash Blossom Ultra. So so far we have Ash Blossom and Super and Ultra. That's it. Nothing higher than that. Still a lot of potential in this set for us to pull it, or in these packs, I should say. Code Talker Inverted, there you go. Oh, old toe collector rare. I couldn't see the dots on this one. Oh, there it is. Collector rare Baron, which it already has a collector rare. That's kind of the bummer thing, but uh, it is a different collector rare. I'll give it that. So it looks it looks different. It's what, if, whether you want the rarity collection collector rare, or if you want the uh, original, what was it in? Maze, I think, collector rare. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, that's pretty cool. We got a, but that's some pretty good pulls. Baron, Eldlich. I mean, we're looking pretty good right now. What's our first one? I feel like we got a good one early. Pot of Extravagance. We got Ghost Trick. That's a platinum, finally. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Pot of Desires, Cherubini, and Inspector Border. It's going to be so much fun to open. Normally, I would say just buy the singles. You probably should just buy the singles, but if you just want to have fun opening, this is going to be the best set you can buy. In it is a little bit more expensive, I know. They've upped the price a little bit, and it kind of makes sense with like the rarities coming out of this. Uh, you're gonna, you're just gonna get so many hits. Like you're guaranteed to get multiple hits in a box. It's a Ruxin special. We have Chair, Cyber Angel, Benton, another Baron. This that's the thing. You're getting so many. Like Baron was like so expensive, and I'm I pulled like four of them. So all these like super nice cards and like super, they've got to be like one dollar or less, right? Because they, not everything could be a dollar. I mean, there's like a hundred of every card. I'm really interested on this set makeup in terms of value. Savage Dragon, Degirsu, some I'm gonna find out because I'm gonna be opening a lot of it and putting stuff up for sale. Probably gonna be on my website this year. So if you wanna check something out, uh, ruxin34.com for the expensive cards. Like High Rarity's gonna go on ruxin34.com as Platinum Rare. We have Luna. We have Forbidden Droplet Collector Rare. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. It does have a little texture to it, actually. That is beautiful. Wow, that, 
going to be incredible. But yeah, I'm starting to put more stuff on my website besides just box breaks, which we have almost sold out of our front and guardian box break, by the way. So I think we probably have sold of it. Well, you're seeing this today, so we probably haven't sold it. I think we have like four packs left or something. 36 pack box, uh, Iris Sword Soul, Ice Dragon's Prison, and Ice Barrier. Plus a huge uh, announcement coming soon for my whatnot. Just a little hint. It's uh, you could probably get the spoilers if you go to my whatnot profile. A little bit of an exciting announcement coming very soon. So uh, I, that's all I'll say. Junk Speeder, we have pre preparation of rights, Chaos Space, Pot of Prosperity. If you do check out my whatnot and you haven't signed up yet, get that $15 for free. Use my link down below. Get something awesome on whatnot. We have Ash Blossom. OK, Lone Fire Blossom. That's pretty cool. Edison, Edison getting a little little 25th. That's pretty cool. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragons in here. Oh, I want that. A blue eyes card. Let's go. Junk speeder, effect failure. I really want that. That's incredible. Okay. At the end of this thing, I think we're going to do a little rarity rankings before the end. I'm going to do a little rarity rankings. We'll see if that changes by the uh, by the time we open the last uh, live stream or whatever. There's a collector rare. Predator plant, dragon stapalia. We'll see if it changes, but we're going to start now with my initial rankings, which we could make it to a short probably. That would be pretty smart. Ancient fairy dragon. Code soccer. We have blue eyes, abyss dragon. Okay. Six six packs i can't count seven packs okay nadir servant baron again that's the ulti version ulti and collector rare lone fire dude we are crushing right now this is two boxes guys two boxes can you imagine if you buy a case of this wow this gives me hope though to actually pull every card on saturday ghost trick dimension shifter if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe to the channel it's going to be an incredible incredible week of opening i cannot wait i'm super excited uh artemis oh we got something back there we got a luna we got striker dragon small world that's an ulti wow they look so good ancient fairy you got a super print well you got you got all the prints yeah you got that's a super print but it got seven prints four packs left oh my gosh i don't even know what to do at this point this is like so crazy change of heart should all schism specter border Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. That was a that was like an ulti too. I'm just skipping through it though because we have it's a long video at this point. It has gotten longer. I know my editor has to edit this today so we can get it out uh, ASAP. So yeah, sorry editor. We have God Slime, Lava Golem, Platinum. I feel like Platinums don't come up that often. Redoer and Reasoning. It's also possible I'm just missing them because they're a little bit more subtle. So that could be happening as well. Two packs left. We have Alpha the Master of Beast, Win the Wind Channeler, Forbidden Droplet. Code Talker Inverted, Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor Photon Dragon. One final pack for today. Then we're doing our top, we're doing our top seven rarities. We're gonna show the top rarities and which ones I think are the best. Here we go. Last pack. Can we get that Ash Blossom Downer Magician Artifact Lancia? Nice. Collector Rare. And Afterglow. So we had the big one right off the bat where we had an ulti and like a it was two ultis in one pack. I don't know if we ever did that again. All right, it's time for my official top seven rankings. Starting at number seven, we have Ultra Rare. This might come as a surprise because there are super rares in this set, but I actually prefer supers over ultras. I think the ultra gold name, it's not my favorite. I just like the subtlety of the super rare, but it's also going to be in sixth place. So seventh place ultra, sixth place super rare. Coming in fifth, I'm going to go with the new platinum secret rare. I think it's decent. It's not terrible, but I don't, I don't necessarily love it. I think it's just kind of gimmicky, to be honest. I mean, just around the borders is the only difference really, and a little bit in the name. And I, you guys know I don't really like the name having like secret rare pattern in it. So this, we're going to put it number five. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Uh, I think it's okay. Coming in fourth, we have Artifact Lancia, standard secret rare. I mean, standard secrets, they're amazing. They look great. They always will. They can't quite beat out some of these high rarity cards, but they do look nice. Third place, 25th anniversary secret rare. You guys know I have some problems with this rarity. You can't really read the name. I do like the shiniest. I think it looks amazing, but I don't think it's my favorite rarity in here. So we're going to put this in third place. Finally, second place, I'm going with the new version of the collector rare. I think it's a beautiful looking rarity, but when comparing it to the ulti, I like that the ulti has a little bit more shine on the actual art work which is pretty cool looking at them again though i like the silver name better in collector rare these are really close they're probably a tie for me i'm actually gonna put the collector rare at the top so we'll go second ulti it's a really close second i almost put it first i like that silver name i like it way better than the ultra name those are my top seven for the new rarity collection all right guys this is an incredible video a little bit longer than our normal new videos look out for tomorrow and the next day and the next day it's gonna be crazy shout out to tone Fo show daxer tomato juice puffins of doom ernesto dn america doyster supreme stage 21 cj Liu, gwine 62 Yu Gi Oh unboxed in a tie show, Ian Musa Jr. Barty, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Into oh gosh. <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> are we ready?